The institution of marriage has suffered a decline all across the world, but it's here in the rapidly aging societies of Asia that some governments are most concerned about. Despite efforts to cajole people towards getting married and having children, fewer and fewer of them do, which in economic terms would lead to a shrinking labor force, among others. Our uh, Northeast Asia correspondent, we do travel to Japan and South Korea to examine this issue. Today, in part two of the series, she looks at how Japan's growing number of single parent households could change that very picture. On a sunny winter's day, a playground outside Tokyo comes to life. Children race one another down the slide, often with a pair of parents in tow. But such scenes are becoming rare in Japan, where so few babies are born, the population shrinks by half a million a year. Over the past few decades, marriage as an institution suffered a broad decline across the rich world. But in most Western countries, unmarried people started having babies. In Britain last year, half the newborns were born out of wedlock. That figure in Japan is a mere 2 percent. But experts say this has to change if Japan wants to halt the population decline. The government and the people might have to accept and that a family doesn't always involve a mother and a father. By 2040, they estimate 40 percent of households will be single people. So the traditional family, you know, is already departed. State policies are racing to catch up with realities on the ground. That day can come fast enough for Masami Onishi. At home, the 24-year-old single mother handles her two young daughters with ease, but she says it hasn't always been the case. You're a single woman, but you're wearing a wedding ring. Why? The single mother works six hours a day, six days a week, just to earn 800 U.S. dollars a month. The government wants to put more single mothers to work in order to reduce the 50 percent poverty rate among them. But as Ms. Onishi's case shows, it doesn't really help. Poverty rate of single mother doesn't change very much, even the mother is working because they are a very weak uh, position in the labor market because of the very huge gender gap, uh, wage gap in Japan. Dr. Zhou says it's crucial that the government boosts welfare support to single mothers because children raised in poverty are unlikely to escape even when they grow up. Yasuko Kawabe, who started a dining hall for children of single mothers, say that's precisely what she's seen over the years, and she hopes an alternative route could open up soon. In an aging society that desperately needs more future taxpayers, the government needs to help children of single parents become contributing members to society, rather than seeing them as a burden and a disgrace. Wei Du, Channel News Asia, Osaka.